This is Sweet Pea, she's six years old. She's had a little bit of trailering and travel. You know, I work with horses getting on the horse trailer whenever I'm not going somewhere because the intensity level of getting somewhere and the pressure of getting somewhere, the horses feel that and they sense that. And so a lot of times I'll take them out of their pins, work on groundwork and just work on getting in and out, off and on the horse trailer. So this mare, she had trouble. She'd walk up to the edge of the horse trailer and she'd just stop. And so again, the same thing with the butt rope. Notice every horse that I've loaded, I've moved them onto the trailer by either swinging the rope behind them. That was the first horse. The second and third horse now have to have this rope that's simply around their rump. And I've got my slack and my rope halter in one hand. Only adjustments I'm going to make is if she puts her head in a position that's not straight in the horse trailer. The other cue I'm giving her is to walk onto the horse trailer by using my butt rope. Okay. So when I walk her on, she knows it's there. Good girl. I am going to step on first and look, she is actually going to get on the trailer. Good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. So this is a mare that we've worked with a few times. She used to not get on the trailer. She would stop at the back of the horse trailer and back up and go sideways. Okay. So part of what we've done is we've established that she walks onto the horse trailer with this rope. Okay. We'll do one more loading and loading and see if she actually can get, oh, you're okay. See if she can actually get on and off the trailer without the rope on her. Okay. Now, I don't need this on to keep her from running backwards. She's a horse that steps off very easily. So I'm going to take my rope, put it out of the way, clear it. So then touch down. Good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. So now we're going to test it. We're going to see if this mare at this point in her training is ready without a butt rope to walk onto the horse trailer. So you see a little bit of resistance already. Okay. I don't have the rope on, but she had enough memory to remember now this is another habit you don't want horses to do i'm glad that she did this another habit is horses will put one foot on you'll see people lift their foot onto the horse trailer you'll see them let the horse get halfway on so i let her test i said okay sweet pea are you ready to get on the horse trailer without feeling that butt rope behind have we had enough repetition and practice and based on what she just did in response i would say no so making the correction because I'm establishing a consistent pattern of behavior, I want to make sure that this horse, every time she walks up to a horse trailer, says I'm supposed to get on. And so because she did that first step, second step, and decided not to walk in, we go back to the rope around her hind end. Okay, some horses will kick, some horses will walk, some horses will move. Your job is to establish the rope on this left side, get it connected, find your slack. You don't want to be correcting slack once you get up to the horse trailer because there's too much rope in your hand that can get tangled. Okay, so take your time and breathe. Let yourself work through the process, okay? All right, so now I've established it. Now there's no getting two feet on there, okay? She's gonna walk right up. Good girl. That's a good girl. So now we're trying to establish that pattern. We do not want the horse to step part weight on. We also want her to stay here once she's here. So it's part of why I'm keeping the rope on is I want to teach them that they can't just get on and get off and run backwards. They have to wait and just be patient. Oh, good girl. Oh. So you can see her moving a little bit. I'm going to make sure that rope is a little bit snug. So what I'm doing is I'm repositioning her and making sure she doesn't go backwards. I'm doing it with the butt rope. This is very good practice. Good girl. So now that she's in, I can take the rope off. I can allow her to back out of the space. Good girl. Back. Touchdown. That's a good girl. So she's not quite ready to do it without the butt rope, but she will. It just takes practice. Good girl. Okay. 